Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about how to multiply polynomials. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. So one th way of multiplying polynomials is using the distributive property. So let's use an example here to kind of see what's going on. So we example four, all right, and we want to find the product multiplication here. We have a two x plus one times three x squared minus x plus four, okay? So what we want to do is really, we want to distribute this 2x plus 1, and I usually distribute from the smaller of the two, uh, as in there's two terms here and there's three terms here. So we want to multiply this 2x by all parts here of the second parentheses. So let's write it out. Let's take our time. 2x times 3x squared minus x plus 4, okay? Then we want to add, addition right here, add, and we distribute the 1 to all parts of the second uh, express, part of the expression, the second polynomial. So we have 1 here times 3x squared minus x plus 4. And now we can distribute and we'll simplify. So let's multiply 2x by 3x squared, and 2x times 3x squared is our 6 x to the third power, remember we add the exponents. Again, 2x times a minus x is a minus 2x squared. And lastly, 2x times a 4 is our 8x here. All right. Now, let's add the second distributive that's going on here. 1 times 3x squared is 3x squared. 1 times a minus x is a minus x and 1 times a 4, oops, is just good old 4. I got ahead of myself with the parentheses there, okay? So we have a minus x and a plus a 4. So now we want to combine our like terms like we've done before. Highest degree first, work our way down, and I'm going to show uh, all the steps here, but you probably will get to a point where you don't have to. Highest degree is 6x to the third, 6x to the third here, put a dot to show that I've used that term. Nothing else has any higher degree. So let's go move down. We want to add here. Next highest degree is squared, so we have neg or 2, negative 2x squared, put a dot there, and we have 3x squared here, plus 3x squared. Close it off. Next one here, we have 8x and a minus x, right? Next that's the next highest degree. So we have plus 8x and then minus x. And again, use your dots to show that you've brought it down. And then lastly, we only have the um, constant of 4. So we just put a 4 down here, and then we're done. We're done with that step. So now let's simplify, combine our like terms. 6x to the third, again, is just by itself. But then the next one here, we have a minus 2x squared plus 3x squared. And that's just a uh, positive 1x squared. So we just write x squared here. 8x minus x is just going to be 7x. So we have plus a 7x. And then bring down the plus 4. And now we're done. Our final answer is just 6x to the third plus x squared plus 7x plus 4. All right? So I hope now you have a better understanding of how to multiply polynomials, specifically by using the distributive property here. If this video was helpful, please hit the like uh, button down below and subscribe to our channel. This helps us make more videos for viewers like you. So, as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.